So today I'm going to show you how to make the Novel Coronavirus. And yes, I will probably end up in hell for this. Let's do this. Okay, so to start off, we have some inspirational images here, as well as some very important messages to uh, keep note of. So let's start off with a sphere, first off. And uh, let's go for a populate geometry. This, let's close it in here. Let's connect this in there. Let's add in a 1000 number slider. Let's place it into the uh, number parameter. And also a 1000 slider for our seed. This way we can generate, and I'm not going to believe I'm going to say this, uh, multiple viruses or multiple iterations of the, the same virus. Jesus. Next up, we're going to need another sphere here. Also, let's add in a number slider 0.10, like that. Let's bring this down to about 8. Let's establish our radius here. And let's put this there. Okay, once, once that's done, let's go into and set up a volume component here. Bring in the uh, ge the uh, geometry, and you can also close these components into one group. We can call this the uh, virus's nucleus, nucleus, like that. And now down here, we can start with our with our second group. Let's call in a scale element, as well as a double dash point nine five for our scale factor. Let's place in the volume centroid or center, and of course our sphere once again. Next up, uh, let's add in another populate geometry. Connect it there. Let's add in a uh, one thousandth value. Let's bring this down to about sixty, because we we really do not need to to have it that high for now. Also, uh, let's place in one at 100 number slider for, for our seeds. Let's bring this down to about 44. Next up, let's go closest surface, closest point. Let's add in our points. Let's add in our surface, like so. Let's add in next an evaluate surface. We can add in these numbers here and also our, our scale sphere once again. Boom, the virus is already mutating. We can now hide these elements because they're going to get really messy up front. Yeah, like that. We can set up a construct plane. Place this one there, this one there, and this one there. And the mutations continue. Let's uh, hide this one again. Uh, <clears throat> let's add in an SDL line. We can place in our new plane as our starting point. Use the N as that di di direction. And to establish our uh, length, let's place in a division component. That's okay. Let's add in a number slider at 1.0. We don't need it to go that far. And let's add in a uh, double dash 2 for our division. Like that copy and paste this and simply switch our length from this value to this one. Let's bring this to about 0.5. Okay, looking good. Mm, yeah, okay, nice. Once all this is done, let's pick up on this entire group. Let's close it in and these will be our spikes 
position and generation. And now for their free the appearance, let's add in a polygon. Let's flatten its uh, main results. Let's add in a 1.0 uh, number slider again. Let's bring this down to about 1. And let's place it into our radius. We do not need this element to, to be too big. Let's add in a second number slider here. I'm going to place this one down at 3. It's going to be hidden most of the time, so it's not really a big deal, uh, whichever value you pick here. Simply, if you're going to use a uh, number slider, just place the minimum value at 3, because you can't really make a, a flat shape with only two curves. Let's pick up our construct plane. Okay, looking good. Or should I say very viral. Uh, let's pick up a move. And let's use our construct plane again on it, and let's use our STL line here. Control C, Control V, and let's just switch our second parameter here for for our our second SDL. We can now hide these, and we can also hide these. This is how you contain the virus. Next up, let's do a circle. Place it in there. Oh god, it, it has some kind of a shield now. Let's go uh, point one zero zero number slider. <clears throat> Let's bring this down to about here, 35 more or less. Uh, be careful how you use these uh, number sliders because you can either make the, the virus far more powerful or simply uh, corrupt it. Copy and paste this polygon value here. Switch the geometry plane to this move part here. And for the, the radius, let, let's go to 1.00 number slider. Place it in our radius. Of course, it's, it's uh, too big. Bring it down to about, I'd say, the 15 looks nice. Yeah. Next up, let's put in about 10 number slider for our um, segments here. Once uh, once again, place the minimum value at 3. Okay, perfect. i put this one at 6 for now. And of course, a uh, 0 0.50 value here. We want to put this one as our maximum. Once again, you can always change the maximum and minimal values here. I just want to make sure uh, this program does not crash on itself. We want a healthy virus. Now, to get all of these together to actually form our spikes, we're going to need a double rule surface. So Control C, Control V, place th this one there, this one in there, this one goes here, and this one goes in here. Mm. Hmm, this value is way too high. Let's bring it down to about there. Let's bring this down to the to three. As we can see, even in, in uh, viruses, looks can deceive. Let's bring this value up just about enough. That should just about do it. Okay. Next up, let's join our, our breps. One and two. Uh, we already have a lot of stuff here, so let's just pick this all up and control Q to close it or, or at least to uh, hide it. Let's cap these these values. Cap them like so. And finish off. Okay, that, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
we can now pick up this entire group and simply close it. We can call this uh, Spikes 3D. This group is essentially what establishes the uh, corona of the virus itself. Crown in Spanish and, and in Latin. And to finish off, we still need to work on our little proteins down here. We start, we start off the same way, just to add in a scale. And then double dash 1.05, place it into the, into the factor. And now we simply re repeat this process by picking up on the center, picking up on, a, on our top sphere and placing it into the geometry. There it is, right in the inside. We go for yet another populate geometry. Like that. Let's give it a maximum value of about 50. That should do the, the trick there. So let's place in a 100 number slider for, for our C. Let's bring it to a, a value of about 53. That should do the trick there. And now let's place in another sphere. We can give it a fixed radius of about 0 0.05. Double dash, of course radius and now let's place this in okay it looks nice and this is our little protein group let's call this uh, protein generation and lastly for our last group let's do another populate geometry that let's place this in there oh boy let's give it a maximum value of about 10 we don't want to go too overboard otherwise grasshopper might crash and for the seed we can match the same one we used here beautiful oh next up we can do a facet dome place the value in here and we can do a boundary boundary edge yeah like that okay it 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 worked <laughs> okay and this pretty much settles our last group here we can call this uh, protein 3d like that we can now hide all of this once again, except for this last one. Actually, no, let's also hide, hide this one here. Up here, do the same thing with, with all the, the values, the same thing for the sphere and this one. And the reason I'm asking this is so that I can introduce you to a little interesting feature, which is the uh, preview for color implementation. So if you add in the preview here, we can get we can get our little protein stones and now let's add in a color swatch let's place this at about here okay little golden proteins there next up let's copy and paste this bring it up to the top And then let's add in to our coronas a uh, let's give it a more of a, a reddish color. That should do it. Okay. And now for our nucleus, the very core that sustains our virus. Let's add in a way darker color. Jesus, dark and heavy. This one is way too bright.
Okay, and that's exactly how uh, we create our very own coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I hope you've liked this uh, tutorial. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Keep yourself safe and... Oh. Oh God. Oh God. Run.